Hey guys, it's Marlon Herlock here of HallelujahLifestyle.com and I want to welcome you to another edition of Herbally Speaking. We are continuing our look on how to select, prepare and combine herbs properly. In today's video, we will be looking at how to prepare herbs. So, don't go away. We'll be right back. You are watching Herbally Speaking on HallelujahLifestyle.com Alright, so many fresh herbs including rosemary, chives and thyme can be stored a week or longer in your refrigerator's vegetable bin. For best flavor, wrap them in a damp paper towel and then place them in an open or perforated plastic bag. Uh, please do not rinse until just before they are to be used. Keep in mind the longer herbs are stored, the greater their flavor loss will be. For long-term storage and to retain the highest flavor and quality, consider drying herbs. Dried herbs can be kept for two or three years, but should really be used within a year. Any longer than this and they won't be as tasty or as fragrant. Sun, oven or dehydrate or drying is not recommended because the herbs will lose too much flavor and color. To dry sturdy, low moisture herbs like rosemary, thyme, dill, um, savory, leaf of life, uh, what you want to do is cut the whole branches of the plant and gently rinse in cool water. Tie the cutting in small bunches and hang upside down in a dry, uh, dark, well-ventilated, dust-free room. When they are dry, which will be usually within two to three weeks, remove the leaves from the stems and store whole in an airtight container. Crush or grind just before use. Herbs with large, tender leaves and a high moisture content, including bay leaf and basil, lemon balm, and so on, um, should be dried quickly to prevent mold. You can dry these herbs on frames covered with netting or window screen. Simply strip the best leaves from the stems and lay them in a single layer on the dry rack. Turn during the first few days and after about a week. When the leaves are completely dry, remove them and store in a tightly closed container. All right, so this is a sieve that, uh, this is actually one of our dryers that we have. Um, if you notice, um, it's built out of wood. Below the wood, uh, we have a metal mesh which helps with support. And then on top of the metal mesh, I have a window screen because we don't want the herb to be in direct contact with the metal to cause any reaction. So this, uh, this particular herb is going to be used in our next video for our herbal formulation. All right, so that's our look on how to uh, prepare herbs. Uh, in our next video, we'll be doing a demonstration as to how to do an actual formulation. So if you like this video, if you've learned anything from it, uh, please go ahead and comment, like, or share. And remember, our goal is to get 10,000 new members to our, our um, YouTube family. All right, so see you in our next video.